guys, I've got Nadir Moses of Low Stud, one of the founding members. We're going to talk about the car in the background. I'm going to ask Nadir a lot of questions and I think we're just going to try and get a gist of what's happening here. Mm. So maybe firstly start off by, before we get to the car, maybe tell us a little bit about you and, and, and what Low Stud is. Okay, so yeah, um, so we obviously mess around with cars. Mm. Um, I think that's the, the core of what we do. Um, so we'll take it from standard state to OEM and we'll just flip it upside down. Okay. Um, in a nutshell. Um, yeah, into the stance obviously, that's what this video is about. So. Yeah, so, I mean, just maybe give an idea. I think lowstar has been around for what, like five years now? Yeah, I think 2017. Tw is it tw 2017? even further back, so that's what, yeah. seven years? Seven, 2017, so that is what, three, yes. seven Th years, yeah. Seven years. I mean, you uh, people know you in a while. Don yet, but there's a lot of other members, mm -hmm. um, people have seen your cars, but so we want to talk about this specific car, the yeah. Golf 1. So as you can see behind us, maybe just make a little bit of space, because it does look like a little bit of a, a hot mess at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's kind of nothing at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> um, a lot of stuff laying all over. M maybe, again, I don't want to be very specific and be very purposely. Okay. What is, tell us what's happening here, like if nobody knew what was going on, tell us from the yeah. start. So, um, when, when, when you get these cars, mm -hmm. the cradle is actually attached to the front. Okay. And here's a, here's a, a member across here that's welded in, mm -hmm. and we purposely cut it off. Okay. Um, so that we can fit the motor easily. Okay. So we'll just slide the motor in. Yeah. Um, let me just run over here. Okay, so we've got the guys at DRT mm -hmm. uh, that supplied us with engine mounts okay. for the AXZ motor that we do. Okay. So that's the that's the code for the motor. Yeah. Um, so the mounts that they supply mm. fits perfectly on our engine mounts. Nice. So we don't we don't do any fabrication with regards to you see it fits in. Okay. Snug. Um, so that's poly bushes. Mm -hmm. Solid steel that they use over the DRD in Joburg. Yeah. Um, so they supply us with three, three mounts. This is the front for the gearbox. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's another two. One would be another gearbox, I think, and an engine mount. Okay. Um, so this bolts directly onto the motor, and we just attach it to our existing mounting points. So it's that easy. Oh, I think it's that easy. <laughs> so we're gonna do a motor swap. Yeah. We're gonna flush the whole engine bay out, clean out everything. Um, and then, so that's, that would be the front, we'll obviously then redo a, a more solid version yeah. of the member that goes across. Because mm -hmm. the, the one that the car comes out with is a little bit flimsy and, and I think you need to notch the, the member for the alternator. Okay. So we were kind of, with cutting that out, we were going to work there. Yes. So by making our job easier by working inside here, we just took it out. Okay. So we'll get a new cradle and we'll reinstall all of that once we're happy with the footment inside here. Yeah. Um, so we're going to delete the, um, the, the, the fan system and all of that, vents, and mm -hmm. we're going to delete that completely. Flush mm -hmm. out there, we're going to do a whole lot of other deletes over here, battery delete, or we might just get one of those cute small batteries mm. okay. um, yes. and hide it away somewhere uh, water bottle so we might do a a in okay radiator with a water bottle inside of there so we might get something like that um, mounts we're gonna raise we're gonna try to do a, a body drop yeah. okay cool. um, so it will be new lower controls new discs new um, uh, steering rack so all of so basically we when we start on this vehicle or really start on this vehicle there will be nothing on this car yeah so there'll be no steering rack no bolts nothing everything out sort of a clean slate one of the things i was picking up as i was speaking to you before we started recording was like creativity yes. trying to be as creative as possible trying to be as innovative and and really starting to own the build. Yes. like this is your guys build. yes yes M maybe just ask you know as i say it's your guys build. um 
is there anybody specific that you can name and say these are the people that's involved in the bold mm. and I think just recognizing but also not just the people bolding but the people that have maybe reached out for and, support yeah, and, and contributed and, in any way mm. with with information so right now it's just information okay and as we get so we're not motor guys we're not race guys or mm. we don't know a lot about the ins and outs with motors and tuning so there we rely a lot on uh, Farad Ali from Josie, okay. uh, Rojan Motors, a uh, big shout out to him. Mm -hmm. He's been very helpful as well as Vickers from DRT. Okay. Um, that's with regards to the motor. Then we've got some smaller things as we go along. Uh, Mali uh, popped us a pump at no cost, nice. which is, we appreciate that a lot. Mm -hmm. So he's been a lot in and out yeah. with regards to engineering. Okay. So, so that would be Mali's garage. Mali's, mm -hmm. yes. Um, so he's always helpful with his information and stuff like that. Um, Estek uh, helped us out with a set of drop plates, mm -hmm. adjustable. Okay. So normally, I might speak under correction, uh, the normal drop plate gives you 30 more. Yeah. So his drop plate that he gave us now goes up to 65 moles. Sure. Yeah, so we want to do, do a proper dish wheel on this. Mm nice tires semi slick tires mm. not that we're going to use it or race the car in any way i think dylan <laughs> sure might have <laughs> other take on that yeah. um he wants the car to go on the track though um but yeah so so that is where we are with the motor rojan um import and export motors um Farad. so we check like at least maybe twice a week or so he's just giving me updates on where the containers are and what's happening and stuff like that. So, yeah, we we between three point two and three point six. Okay. Um, uh, also, he sends you a video of the motor started in their place. Mm -hmm. So he supplies you with a motor gearbox, harness, sure. pedal because it's electronic. Okay. Um, uh, O two J gearbox, um, ECU. Mm -hmm. uh, so you basically do three wires. I think I might also speak under correction, so it's positive ground mm -hmm. and ignition. Now obviously you need fuel and water to that, so yeah. they can start it, or they've sent me videos of motors that they start mm. on that side. Um, yeah, and then obviously there's going to be a lot of fabrication. Yes. Yeah. So, um, even, you know, you're saying like you're collecting information, I think one of the things you said was that you enjoy being quite transparent. Mm. You don't like to hide information. You may not tell people everything of what yes. you're going to do right now until you've done it and then show it. Mm. But it, it sounds, well, I think I've always known you to be this person. Is You don't want to hold on to stuff you want to give. Mm. You know, share the information so if you make a mistake, other people can also learn from it sure, and don't sure. necessarily need to go on to make the same mistake. Um, and I quite like that. Um, but also, you were willing, so this is a lot of information I imagine. Mm. Like you're saying also now, there's going to be a lot of fabricating. Yeah. Even there, it's going to be a lot of information and so, trial so, and error. Yeah. Also, before we carry on, how Fabian Bredekamp that mm. brought us a light. Um, yeah. So even with the lights, we're we doing the the velocity lights in the rear, mm -hmm. but also it's going to be a custom light. Yeah. Um, that I won't share yet. Okay. Um, until I, I've uh, kind of got it right, the concept. Mm. Um, but it's actually something from the GTR. Okay. Um, something custom that they did overseas on the GTR. Um, yeah, also just to jump back again, so this is actually a city golf. Yes. Um, so we're removing the city fenders, we're removing city grill, and we're taking it back to rabbit. So we're putting rabbit fenders on, we're mm -hmm. doing rabbit, no bumpers. Um, yeah, so that is the bold. As it is, and you know, the city golfs are four door. Yeah. So, you said I'm allowed to share this yeah. with people <laughs> that they basically convert in a four door to a two door. Mm. Now, again, that also involves a lot of fabrication. Mm. Um, I've been privileged to see. I, I, I know you don't want people to see certain things just yet, and, and, and again, you will share mm. as the time is right, as you figured certain things mm. out. It looks good so far. Things are falling <laughs> nicely into place. This might not look that great. Um, but I suppose if, you, if you've if you listened to the vision, mm. then I, I think you 
maybe although it's probably quite tired mm -hmm. you, there is a level of excitement and that's going to yes. just keep holding yes. um, you know something I was like if you had to describe like what are the characteristics or the values that this bold has to carry mm. what are some of the things like you're approaching it like so I hear creativity innovation mm. getting information you, you know um, engaging with people like coming to the parts like coming to how you going about choosing certain things, mm. are there certain characteristics you're holding in mind? So, um, if I can also add, thus far, um, the, the, the input or the, the willingness to assist mm. has, been, uh, has been very, has been accepted uh, uh, very well on our side. Yeah. Um, also, this is something that you know what with the Mercedes I said that's my loss, I'm not going to it. <laughs> but I think if you if you if you if you if you run with this by, by art and cars is your thing and you 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 eat and breathe and sleep this thing, mm. I don't think you ever let go of it. Yeah. To a point where you I think where you just uh, physically can't do it anymore. I think mm. that would probably be the end of it. Yeah. But I said uh, now I'm done, I'm finished, I'm crap and here we are again. Um, so yeah, um, with regards to your your question before this, uh, you were saying? Just what, what are the values that you carry? Or maybe if I'm going to say this, so one of the things you said earlier was like you wanted to be cost effective, mm. mindful mm. of it, because building a car is expensive mm. and you'll often hear people say, I can't do that. Mm. And so one of the things you said is you want to be very mindful of cost. And again, almost being quite transparent and sharing yeah. that with yeah. people. Yeah. Um, so also, uh, uh, you know, you also you come from it very well, um, where you build. I, I can call it extreme, mm -hmm. um, to a sense where you knock all the parts, you knock, you tick all the ticks, you go through it from the front to the back, yeah. and you know it's expensive. Yeah. So I wanted to eliminate where I think. Half of the cost come in is the value of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. So if you take for arguments like a, a, a Tiguan, mm -hmm. what is it? Cost roughly a couple of hundred K. And you add your modifications to that. Mm -hmm. Easily you can sit at 600 K without you even knowing that. Yeah. Well, at the time. Or not adding, I mean, but when you add up afterwards and you say, yo, I actually spent this much on the vehicle. Mm -hmm. But with this, and what I've learned is also that if you chase it <laughs> and you your eagerness overtakes you, mm. you spin blindly. Yeah. So if you see wheels and now nah, I want it, I want it, I want it, and you just buy it. Instead of just taking your time and searching and searching and searching, and that is what we found now with this. We've been taking our time, we scratch here, we look here, we look here, and we see, ah, oh, but it's coming to us now. So we found the two door, right in which is plain, mm. and we don't need the whole two door. So it, it necessarily it doesn't have to be a perfect car. Yeah. So I mean, two doors go for what 70, 90 k good ones, mm. which has also been probably through the through the um, patches. Um, you do find very good ones, yeah. but they're pricey. Um, so we found a two door. In a bad state, <laughs> um, but for good money. Yeah. Um, also, this one was also not too bad. Mm -hmm. So, so we're trying to keep the cost down on this. Where we're actually gonna spend more on the finished product. Mm. Um, I don't know if that makes sense. Well, I suppose because building a custom vehicle to the level you want is never going to truly be cheap. Mm. But where you can, you're also saying like, I, I want to be mindful, I don't want to waste money. And I suppose with the initial part of it, getting the, the framework there, yes. like we actually can save quite a bit here. Yes. That, that's kind of your thought pattern. Yes, yes. So um, um, saying that, with the other bills, um, if I needed something, I would somehow go and we get it and we, we get this and we buy this and we buy this. So we, even uh, our buddy um, from Street Group Customs, uh, um, uh, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so Adil Mohammed um, with the green mark one he's, he's, he's putting a lot of work with us to, to this far and it's, we're not even into the build 
So he's been running around in Joburg for sunroofs. He brought our glass, which is also a source for us. Mm -hmm. uh, we're borrowing his rotisserie so that we can flip this car around and get everywhere on this car. Yeah. Uh, we just sorting out logistics for the truck to come from that side. Um, so we're not too in a hurry for the rotisserie because we're not there yet. Mm -hmm. But it's coming out of Joburg and that's from Street Crew Customs, um, from Adil, which we also appreciate uh, all his input so far. Yeah. So yeah. I, I mean, I suppose we could go on and on, mm. but I mean, you also said you'd be willing to share certain things along the way. You want people to see, you don't want to necessarily hide. Mm. Um, and I think when you're ready, perhaps we can do an update video. Yes. Because purposely we sit in here, we're not going to show people much, yeah, yeah. but it's to get people involved, mm. you know. Um, I think the nice thing is once it is done and these videos are showing along the mm -hmm. way, people can maybe do the same thing or similar. Exactly. It's not to necessarily say copy it, mm. but do something similar. Yeah. Take from your innovation, you're giving people a, I want to say a canvas. It's not blank, it's a canvas and they can sort of do their stuff to it or whatever it makes, you know, personalizes it. Um, so but yeah, I think, I, think, I think we're going to, I think we might as well chat about the kit that's going on. Oh, yeah, but so um, <coughs> there's not a lot that knows, so we're going to actually do a rocket bunny kit on here. Okay. A wide body kit. Um, the kit we're going to fabricate with steel. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, you can probably see the steel sheeting over here. We can see it. Yeah, yeah so um, we're going to bend the, the kit from the steel actually. Okay. Yeah, so we do a wide body on here and we see what, it, what, it, what the end result is. Mm. I was, so you showed me the end and I, again I, I want people to be surprised, I, I almost don't want to spoil it for people but I'm sitting there, I know my hands can't do the things that mm. you guys can um, on a car mm. um, but I think it's going to look really cool, I, I, I'm hoping you guys are going to take your time to perfect it, that, that's how I know you guys also, so it, it's going to be interesting, I, I, I know um, I almost want to be mindful of what I say because I don't want to spoil anything here. Um, but I think that it's something to, to look out for. Maybe this is what I want you to, 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 to share is when can people anticipate it like, to be done? So we are now in August. Yeah. When are you hoping to kind of show people this is the end product? Right now there's no, there's no date for it. Mm -hmm. um, there's no date for that. Um, so it, it all depends on how quickly we can get the side conversion in for the Tudor. Okay. So the moment that is, so one side is done, mm -hmm. it's to be welded up. The other side we're probably cutting up, not this weekend, next weekend. Mm -hmm. So um, if we can get that up, uh, if we can get that in, we're moving to the engine bay. We're going to flush out the whole engine bay and then we're going to flip this car out. Yeah. Get the underflow carriage cleaned out, all the um, all the rubberizing, everything, and probably um, so the rotisserie will be alright because we can flip it anytime for primer and whatever. So obviously all the fabrication work done, and then we'll move to the kit. Um, yeah, so there isn't a timeline on this thing yet, okay. which is fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Saying that because we're going blindly into, or not blindly, we're touching an area that. We haven't really touched, so I don't know how long it's gonna, how long we're gonna struggle with the kit, yeah. um, because it's gonna be uh, fabricate and fit and test and take off and change and cut up and probably throw a couple of sheets of steel. And yeah. So yeah, I'm excited. Um, we're not hundred percent into the build yet, mm -hmm. so it's like, okay, we're planning, we got that, we touch a little bit here and there. So I know we've gone two weekends without doing anything uh, because of other commitments. But I want to get that out of the way so that we can concentrate. Yeah. On this. Yeah. So maybe just concluding the remark from me and, and, and again just in discussions earlier is we were saying that often in the car scene we always think come together and there's always a lot of animosity and maybe we just because we don't want to focus on the animosity all the mm, time mm. something that came out of the conversation and you said it earlier was the amount of people that were willing to help mm. the amount of people and i think it's just to recognize 
you reached out, you know, you were willing to hear people say, look, sorry, I can't help, mm. sorry, I'm not available. Mm. But I think there's almost been like an overwhelming sense definitely, of people's definitely, willingness. Definitely, definitely. I'm actually, uh, like I told you my exact words, I was taken back um, by how people actually want to work with you and actually want to see your vision uh, and see how you get things done. Um, so actually, I, I, I'm surprised. Um, and I think for the past couple of months, there was a lot of negativity going through the stance scene. And with this now swinging other way, it's okay. Uh, it, it actually shows you that it's not as bad as what people make it to be. The stance scene is actually... Uh, they're tight. Mm. I think they're tight. Yeah. Well, look, thank you for your time. Mm. I look forward to this. I, I think a lot of people are. Yeah, um, yeah and, and, and they must tell us if they want to see more, if yeah. they want to see more of this, yeah. with this build. Um, I think you can run with this whole thing as we go along, just give them updates. Um, but they must stay tuned to your channel if they want to see more and thank share. You. They must share and share. <laughs> I yeah. appreciate it. Thanks, yeah. man. Ah, yeah, the oh. muscles come in. I'm in trouble. I'm in Just trouble. In time. If, they in, if they come look for you, then you must know you're in trouble. Now we should understand that we're good. Yes. We like literally just finished. Yeah. Oh.